I was a physics and astronomy major. Uh, that department is now physics and astrophysics. I went about doing my studies uh, pretty much like any other normal student, going to classes and, and attending laboratories. But there was one particular opportunity that I had that was quite unique, and that is when I was attending the Department of Physics here, there was a program called New Avenues for Women, okay. funded by the National uh, Science Foundation. And Professor Betty Pollock collected a small group of women who were who were majors in the natural sciences, chemistry, physics, pre-med, geology, geophysics, and so forth. A small group of us, and she taught us individually. She taught us serious physics classes and, and uh, had us work together in the laboratory. Okay. And what she really taught us, was, in addition to the physics, was teamwork. How does teamwork uh, fit into your position? I advise the commander of your combat command. Your combat command is a uh, is, is the command that's responsible for fighters, bombers, unmanned vehicles, organizing, training, and equipping the forces that, uh, that, that fly those weapon systems. And, and in the commander's uh, taskings to me, he doesn't just ask me to go off and solve an ivory tower problem. He wants operational solutions, and so that means engaging an entire team of people with diverse expertise. So the pilots that fly those weapon systems, the designers, the maintainers, the budget people in many cases, and it's all teamwork, diverse teamwork, to come up with the optimum solution. It's, these are operational solutions, they're not science solutions uniquely. Science plays a major role, but diversity in terms of of uh, expertise is really important and so being able to work in a diverse team really is the secret to a successful project. Okay. What turned you on to science in the first place? Astronomy. I loved astronomy. Astronomy and celestial mechanics, thinking in three dimensions was new for me, frankly. The mathematics to describe physical phenomena love physics. Engineering physics is particularly interesting to me because, because you can translate from what you observe in the real world to how you can represent that mathematically. And uh, just to me, it's just absolutely fascinating. It's, a, it's almost um, like having a expertise in a second language. And physics is, is so amazing because there's macrophysics, what you observe in your daily life, and understanding how the natural world works. And then there's the let's say atomic physics, so understanding the infrastructure of our natural world. Astronomy, very similar. Observational astronomy, what you see through telescopes and instruments. But then there's the cosmology, and that's the infrastructure of the universe. So fascinating. Love physics. Never get tired of physics.